Okay, so do you believe in one God? One God, hallelujah! Yeah. So here's my thought. So I think the world's 14 million years old. Okay. How old do you think of Earth is? Like, let's say two th like 2,000 years, 4,000 years. I never thought about it. Never thought about it? Okay. So basically, in the 1960s, we created the game Pong. Right? What? The game Pong. Like, two little sticks. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, Pong, right? So, since the 1960s, 2020 now, it's about 70 years, right? We've gone from Pong to realistic graphics and video games. They're not realistic. Quarter, they are. No, they're not. Well, they're close to... Hey, here's my point, okay? They're not realistic. Do you know what Moore's Law is? No, explain it to me. Okay, so Moore's Law is that computer power doubles every 18 months. Right? It's been doing that since the 60s. That's not true. It's a, it is true. No. It, well, how do you that's have an iPhone that's today like, and then 30 no, no, years ago like, that... You, the, bro, the, that's like compound interest. If you have even one cent and you double it for 10 years, you know how much money that is? I, I so how, agree. So that's how, how it works. Hold on. So if computers are doing that, we're way behind, so it's obviously wrong. Okay, yeah, but, but, but hear me out, hear me out. Hear me. Let me okay, but you're saying. wrong. I, I, you're wrong. Wrong. Okay, wrong. that's fair. That's a point to have. We'll just okay, have wrong. a peaceful dialogue. Jesus. My point is that in 70 years, okay, we've gone to high fidelity graphics. Maybe not realistic graphics, right? Of course, reality is different from video games. But we're at a point where the graphics are realistic. So if we assume that Moore's Law goes on for another, let's say, thousand years, 2,000 years, right? What's gonna happen is, rather than every 18 months computer power doubling even, we could say That's that computer power is only gonna double, 5%, sure, so to go with your point, we could say that computer power is only gonna double, sorry, it's only gonna increase by 5% every 18 months for the next 10,000 years. What's, what would happen is some human would create a video game that's basically indistinguishable from reality, okay? So my point is, is that if that is the case, right, like just assuming, then why- We could be living in a simulation. Yeah, we could be living in a simulation, right? And then there would be a God, right? That created that simulation. But, but do we view the people who create video games like GTA 5 or whatever it is, right? Weed smoking, man. No, it's not. It's yeah. very, carry on, carry on. You know what I mean? Is, do we view he's, that person- in it. Do we view that person as a God, right? We view that person as some sort of some sort of genius. or whatever, some yeah. sort of genius, but necessarily is that the one God, right? So I'm, my, my whole so thing is saying that God has a team of, of computer that's, that's, programmers. That's the. I don't. No, I'm, no, I'm not saying I have no idea. Well, I'm on, saying on, that simulation do. theory is the best it's running theory for no, no, reality. No, no, no. Simulation theory is a fairy If simulation theory is true, right? Yes. If, it's, if it's true, we would worship that thing, right? Because that thing made life. When we play a game, we're looking at a screen. We know it's not alive. We know we can turn it off. At, at an instant and it goes away, right? But however, this particular simulation, we see life as something bigger than a simulation just because how, how everything um, how everything is perfectly in a line and perfectly created and, per and, and works perfectly with, with, with each other. Like if you, if you play a game, sometimes you can only do so much, right? Once you get to a certain level and you beat that game, it, it freezes or you can never do so much. Like if, you can, if it's a shooting game, you can't turn it into a flower game. I if agree. it's a flower game, you can't turn it into a basketball game. It but stays the same game, whatever. However, life yeah. is, is, is a multiplicity man. of things, right? Yeah, and, yeah, and, it's, and it's unpredictable. And, and that's another thing. Yeah. If, 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 someone, if someone created the world, right? How come when we fall off a building, we don't have five and six and seven, eight lives? If, if a human brain created that, right? He'd be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna give these guys seven and eight lives so they can just do what they want with it. And if it, okay. Right, well, then that, then that, then, 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 then that, it wouldn't be, okay, so it, it begins and ends with that. What do you mean? Like, to add anything else to it is to fluff it up. You shouldn't what even mean? start at it. No, it's I mean, not, it's a complete no, 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 You shouldn't even start to go down that road, bro. That's a complete false No, it's, it's really not. The it's most the, basically advanced scientists you're in the world no, no, today and said, astrophysicists no, no, but, are Let me ask you a question. In a simulation, is there, is there a president? Is there one person that, that's above no, everyone else? The no. absolute there is. In a video game, there is. Yeah, in a but video in game, the reality, in, in, a, in, a, in creating video games, right? In a, creating, in a creating video game, there's someone who produces that game. There's someone who finances. There's someone that gets the crew together. There's someone that says, I need you, 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 you. No, you. team of people. No, usually it's always one. If you, no, if you look, if you look at every, every, every single, no, if you look bro, at every single person. structure, human stru game. every single human structure has somebody at the top, and and he and he employs. Even in Hollywood, you got some guys at the top who employ other people. So so even in your crazy thinking of a simulation, no, no, it's not. No, it's not crazy. It's, it's your the your theoretical thinking. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you crazy. Your theoretical thinking of a simulation, there will still be one person at top directing everybody else. And I'm here to tell you that one person up top is Jesus Christ, and this is the way to him.
by believing that he died on the cross for your sins, <laughs> right? Believe it. The Bible says if you believe with your mouth and confess with your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, you will be saved. The Bible says to it that God was in Christ reconciling the world back to itself. So in this particular simulation, in this particular video game, the designer says the way to win the game, the way to, to get all the accolades at the end of the game is by accepting Jesus Christ. If it's a simulation or if it's real, this is the, this is the design that was set up, right? So the only way to beat this game is by accepting Christ Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior and you will be saved and then you'll go into the next simulation which is called heaven or which is called hell which you're separated from Christ but how do you so, know that? because the computer programmer told me Christ, Christ Jesus you know, oh, yeah. look, you, you, just like if you were to design a game have you ever played Mortal Kombat before? Yes. okay so Mortal Kombat when the guy goes like this some, sometimes you do uppercut the guy goes wee -hee! he put himself in the game so there's, there's, there's always someone wait wait so Jesus did the same thing he put himself in the game showed us how to live showed us how to beat the game right and those who are smart those who have wisdom will be like okay Jesus beat the game I'm gonna do it like that now you're doing a lot of talking okay? I know because I let you talk now I'm explaining I'm explaining it's a loop you've said the same thing like four times amen you know why because Faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of yeah, God. That's not how a conversation goes. This is, this is, this is... A conversation should be equal, right? You know what I mean? Like, it's like, let's say, we, what we should have right now was that? two minutes for me to talk, two minutes for you to talk. Right? No, no, this no, is, no, this, no. people, this is not how it goes, you no, know? Like, bro, no, bro, no, bro, no, bro. Look, I'm trying to save yourself from hell, bro. Yeah, no, no, no. That's what I'm... Okay, like, I'm not fair. trying to debate. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to tell you, bro, look, God loves you, man. And he died for your sins, hey, right? I believe it. And, and, and you if you reject that... If you reject that, bro, you're separated from God. I don't want you to be separated from God. I'm not here because I love you, bro. I'm not out here. I'm not out here to have a, uh, a debate with you. I'm not here because I want you to have a, a relationship with God, bro. That's why I'm here. You want me to leave? All right. Take it easy, guys. God, hey, God, no, 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 I don't want you to. Hey, 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 bro, hey, bro. Please not with us here. God loves you, bro. I want you to know God loves you. Read that. God bless you. Thank you for talking to me. Hallelujah. 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 Where? Hallelujah. Who? Who? What are you talking about? Bro, you're bad. you're bad at this. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whomsoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. And that's the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what, what? We were speaking about video games earlier, right? Yeah. This life that we're living in, you know how you play MMORPG, like World of Warcraft? No, I don't play none of those. So, here's the, here's the thing. This life is like an MMORPG. To get better, you have to grind harder. Except only if you die, there are no respawns. Only the fearful judgment of the Lord. Alright. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. That whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. You know why we're out here? We're out here because... You're on my court. We're out here because we know the truth of this world. The truth is that eventually everyone here, except for me, I'm gonna live forever, because I got Christ Jesus. Everyone is gonna is gonna eventually stand before God one day, and we're gonna give you a way that God that you're pleasing to God. We want you to understand that God created you, He put you on this planet for a reason. And that reason is so you can have love, joy, peace. You can have true love, true joy, true peace, and it's found everything that you're looking for is wrapped up in God. Um your acceptance. God wants to accept you, He wants to accept you into the kingdom of heaven, that's wrapped up in God. Your um your identity. The Bible says when you take on, when you uh, accept Christ, you get the you get Christ's identity. So your identity will be wrapped, will be wrapped up in Him. You know, you know what the beautiful thing about okay, one, one second. You know what the beautiful thing about having God is? It's like He is your barrier. He is your shield. So no people don't no longer judge you. People don't no longer look at you. They look at the God in you. And 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 God is perfect. So if, if you're trying, if you're walking in the vein of God, if you're walking in the um in the spirit of God, what happens is people start to see God in you, and it makes the world a better place. You know, Jesus Christ said, "You turn out the cheek." Jesus Christ said love your neighbor. Jesus Christ said, pray for your enemies. Said, if everyone lived like that, the world would truly be a better place. I got a question. Who prayed this morning? God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. That whoever believes in him will not perish, but ever realizing him. I prayed. And you know, you know another thing? What's the, what's the beautiful thing about God is the fact that he sends preachers out into the world. Uh, sending preachers out into the world and showing you how much God cares for you. Because the Bible says that the Bible says, how will they know me unless a preacher is sent? What? What did you say? No, I didn't ask you Oh, okay. So the Bible says, how, how do they know? No, no. Uh, amen. So the Bible says, how will they know unless a preacher is sent? And how beautiful are those who preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is a message of, of true love. This is a message... This is a message of true um, understanding. This is a message. 
of worth, of self-worth. God wants, God wants you to give you self-worth. God wants to give you a new heart, a new attitude, a new way of looking at life. God wants you not to be so unsure. You know, there's so, there's so much things that we're unsure of. Death is unsure. Um, um, it's one of the things that, that, that's guaranteed, but it's one of the things that, that no one, that it's a mystery. Well, God eradicates that mystery. He lets you know that there's another place that our soul leaves our body, and it goes on to another place. And thanks to Christ Jesus, we can live forever and eternity in happiness. You know, the Bible says that God is love. So that means we'll be living in happiness with the essence of love. The essence of love is God. The Bible teaches us that God is invisible. So all, all the invisible qualities that we see on the earth represent God. Love represents God. Joy represents God. Peace represents God. All these things, all these good things that we that we really uh, look for. Yeah. All, all these things that we yeah, yes, I do. all these things that we look forward to, all these things that we um, um, seek in life are all found in God. All we have to do is seek God and all these things will be added unto us. The Bible says, first seek ye the kingdom of heaven and all these things will be added unto you. In Jesus' name. Amen. You you to, change, to change your heart, to change your attitude, there's one word you have to change. It's the mindset. Change your mindset. Change your mindset. Yes. I agree with that. Yes. Yes. Change the mindset. How, how, do you, how, how do you change your mindset? How do you change your mindset? Know, know who you are. And, and present your body as a living sacrifice before God. The Bible says this. The Bible says, deny yourself, pick up your cross, and follow Christ Jesus. And the Bible says, he will give you a new mind. <laughs> he will give you a new mind. He will give you a new understanding, a way of life. And he will, um, can I, can I charge it? Yeah. And, he, and he, will, he, will, he will give you a new heart and a new way of looking at things. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I was going to score until it goes out. Amen. 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 So once again, it's very important to get God in your life. You're telling me what a man does to do it. Yes, absolutely. I see people here celebrating themselves and not celebrating God. If, uh, if God put us on this planet, right, and if God gave us all these good things, if you have good friends in your life, God gave you that. If you have a good mother, God gave you that. If you have good food, if you have shelter, God gave you all those things. How many times a day do you celebrate God? How many, do you, is there a month dedicated to celebrating God? It's personal. No, it's not, it's, 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 this is per sex is personal too. You're celebrating a, a sexual act between uh, people. So this is personal too. So if this is personal, you can bring it to a public square. It's not a sexual also? act, it's love. So, so, so you have love with people. So you, you don't have, see love and everywhere here. You don't see people getting together, celebrating who they are as a person. You so this is, this is love? This is love. So do you have sex with people you don't love? Do you have sex with people you don't love? That's what I'm trying to say. This is not this. You see, this is about love. It's about a sexual act. Homosexuality is an act. It's not, it's not about a sexual act. So, so who you are is wrapped up in your sexual identity? Who you are is wrapped up in your sexual identity. It's not all about sex. Okay, well explain to me. Maybe, 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 I, maybe I'm ignorant. Explain to me. What is it all about? Yeah, you are. It's not all about sex. Okay, well, being insulting is not going to help me. You and you and your wife or your girlfriend, you guys don't have a romant romantic relationship. Of course we do. It's romance. It's love. It's it's sex. It's all of it. So it's all everything. It. So it's about love. romance. It's about love. It's about sex. It's, it's about, about That's everything. what you're celebrating. It's love. Who gave you all this stuff? My mother. Exactly. <laughs> Who gave you your mother? Um, my, my, gra my grandma. My grandma. Who gave you your grandma? The mouth making you look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, so this, this oh, is what I'm saying. God, God gave you all these things. God gave you all these things, right? So why don't we celebrate God? What about your dad? That's what I was trying to say. How, 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 how often do you celebrate God? How often do you celebrate the love of God? The goodness of God, the greatness of God. How often do you do that? That's what I'm saying. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, as it was in the beginning with God, and all things were made by Him. And nothing without him was made. For, for the Lord, 
is your only salvation, folks. Your only salvation through Jesus Christ only. Mohammed is dead. Buddha is dead. Joseph Smith is dead. Why do you want to follow someone that is dead? He's dead. I follow the living. I follow Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.